Right now, I'm very motivated by an actinium-225. It looks to be an extremely promising candidate for the treatment of cancer, and it's extremely hard to make. And we are exploring alternative production pathways for it. Actinium-225 has a half-life of 9.9 .9 days, so we can make it and it will hang out long enough that it can be connected to a specific chemical in a process called labeling. Then that chemical can be injected into people and it will seek out particular cancer locations. And when it undergoes its radioactive decay, because it is unstable with a 9.9 .9 day lifetime, it will release energy that's very local. It will damage the cancer cell and in particular do a very important kind of damage called double strand DNA damage. And in the neat case of actinium, it will then go through a series of very quick decays and be completely done in about three hours.